So a little update on the brownies. And hopefully I'll have lovely curled hair that I haven't had to use a curler with and I can just do this from now on. So this is the current situation. Um, it's a complete mess. Oh, what the hell? What? Can you see all your, like, the scalp at the back? Wait. Hello? Hello, is that coronavirus? Yeah. Um, can you just get lost? Um, welcome back to another video uh, and welcome back to our channel. If you've not subscribed already, then please hit the subscribe button. Um, today is another vlog. Me and Izzy are going to do another vlog. So today is Easter, so happy Easter. Um, me and Zach are just about to go for a nice little bike ride. We were going to go for a walk, but it's a bit more fun going for a bike ride, isn't it? So we're going to do that and then I'll come back and I need to tidy my room. I know in that vlog last time I was like, I need to tidy my room, I need to tidy my room. And I actually never tidied my room. So I need to tidy my room. Um, and then I think I want to do some baking. I might do, I might make some um, flapjacks because I want to make some brownies, but I make, I'll make them later in the week. So you'll probably see me in this vlog make some really nice brownies that I found a good recipe for. So I'm gonna do that as well. I've got my cycling gear on, I've got my top. I've got some cycling shorts. And I've got my trainers on. Uh, <laughs> I'm so weird. So yeah, I will get back to you when we've got back from our bike ride. So I'll probably look a lot more sweaty than I do now. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hi guys. Welcome to another week in isolation. Just doing my hair. It really needs a wash, but I'm not allowed to do that. Absolutely not. You can't come up here, Lola. I would show you on where she is, but there's loads of stuff on the floor, so I won't. That is one of my jobs for today, actually, to tidy this room, because when I did my makeup video, that probably will already be up, just using some dry shampoo, you know, that's what's getting me through. When I did my makeup video the other day, I just made loads of mess, I still haven't tidied it, which I know is really lazy, but what can you do? So, I'm just putting some dry shampoo through my hair because like i said it really needs a wash but i just don't really see the point in washing it you know like no one sees it it's effort my hair's actually really curly naturally so to get it like this believe it or not takes quite a lot of effort and that's just effort that i just don't have right now so <sighs> i'm just gonna <laughs> i might just do like a half up half down kind of thing maybe sorry if i keep i'm not looking at the camera i'm using my front camera on my phone now because obviously me and charlotte aren't together we're filming separately she's the one with the camera so it's fine because my um camera quality on my phone is quite good but i have been using my back camera but i then can't see what i'm filming like obviously on a camera you have like the flip up screen so you can see yourself and you can see if you're in shot or not but i just know what would happen i'd use my back camera and then um, I'd spend like the whole time not being in shot, which would just be really annoying. So, sorry if I keep looking to the left of it. I need to remember to look where the camera is. But it's really distracting because obviously I can see myself. So, yeah. I'm just going to do a little half up, half down to hide some of the grease, basically. workout in a minute um it's monday today i want to actually do some stuff it gets to the end of the week and i'm like oh whatever but monday i'm like right let's actually there we go that's a bit better isn't it let's actually do something so i'm gonna do a workout ellis is at the food shop at the moment just getting like our weekly food shop because we literally have no food in the house so he's just doing that um he's never done the food shop before so <laughs> we'll see how this goes I'm also going to make some brownies later. Um, I did try and make them yesterday. I went to make them yesterday and then realised that we didn't have any eggs left, which obviously is a problem. Cocoa powder. 
Oh my god, I can't even make them. Can't make them. Why? Yeah, all the eggs. <laughs> and I was going to make like Easter ones, so. But sadly, when I found out that I can make them yesterday, um, basically I had some like mini eggs to put on the top. And then when I found out I can make them yesterday in my sadness, I just ate the whole bag of mini eggs. So <laughs> if Ellis can get some more, we, oh no, I said we, I am going to make some chocolate brownies. So yeah, that's basically what the plan is today. Um, I'll also really, I will just give you a little, oh dear, <laughs> a little preview of what my desk is looking like. Like I said, it's from when I filmed that makeup video because I use a lot of stuff from my makeup kit like because I'm a makeup artist I use a lot of stuff from that um just to like try it out really again and I had a few new things I wanted to try and just yeah um but I actually need to sort my kit out because it's so full and whenever I do clients I literally use like half of it maybe but it's so heavy and I just think what's the point like I'm carrying all this stuff around I only use Half of it is just no point. When I was first a makeup artist, I bought loads and loads of stuff because you just want to try it all out. And I feel like you think that looks better if you've got loads of kit, like when you turn up to clients because it's like, oh wow, all this makeup. But then if you don't use it, it's no point. It hurts my arm to carry it around. So I'm going to sort that out later. I probably will film it actually. That might be quite satisfying to see it all cleared out and nice and tidy and everything. I'm going to go and find a workout to do, I think, and do that. And then hopefully I should be back from the shops because I'm hungry. I just realised the TV's come on. Wait. Oh, I think it was on pause and it's just played by itself. Okay, that's weird. Um, maybe Lola played it. She wanted to watch some Harry Potter maybe. Right. I'm going to go and I'll get back to you when I'm doing something slightly more interesting. He's my pup. When I wake up in the morning, touch his little flooster, see his little mittens, give his nose a boopster. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, okay, I'm gonna finish this video now. So I thought I would bring you with me because it's quite nice weather and I think we're gonna, I don't know, I live in the countryside so it's quite pretty out here. So I thought I'd bring you along and show you. Hey Zach. How rude. Are you going to give me a seaty? <laughs> Maybe we should just go for a bike ride like this. This is a lot easier for me. So guys, we're sort of cycling around my area so my like um my village and then sort of the village next to it and it's just bring back loads of mems there's like a park here i used to go to or just drive uh park just biked past my oh my god past my oh my god there was a bee that just like flew on me mm. just biked past um my old primary school my old childminder's house and it's just bringing back loads of mems i don't know if you can see me i feel like the lighting's really bad here you want to add anything? Do you want to add anything? Zach, don't do that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Got the pool boy. Clean the pool. That's the pool boy. That's the pool boy. Oh, yeah. Baby, just behind you. That's the pool boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice shower. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mo. I got the camera. No. Yeah, do more. Yeah, do more. No, don't do me. No. 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 <laughs> I'm just going to quickly, while Ellis is still at the food shop, because I just thought there's not much point in me doing a workout because he's probably going to be back there any minute, really. So I'm just going to tidy up this because bit of a mess. I need to hoover the sofa because obviously we have a dog. 
So dog hairs go everywhere. So yeah, I'm just gonna set you up and just do a little time lapse of me tidying up my living room because I thought that'd probably be quite satisfying. So so yeah, enjoy this all getting tidied and Lola says hello for this vlog, don't you? Yeah, it's a good girl. <laughs> Is looking much better. I'm gonna attempt to make flapjacks and see how it goes and then later in the week maybe on Tuesday I think I'm gonna make some brownies so this will be like my warm-up well it's bloody hot out there pa I'm vlogging oh now yeah I'm making flapjacks and vlogging is, it, is the camera on now yeah do you want to get in it <laughs> hello yeah you have to put your head down I'm getting your mum. That's a wee. Just a little one. Why are you Irish? <laughs> I've gone ahead of yourself, son. What? I'm sorry. sorry. I, just, I just stood on my pug's paw and he ran away from me. Oh, don't you just hate it when you like accent, like when your dog hurts itself? Because they can't express their feelings. Right, so we need 250 grams of porridge oats. Oh, God. 250. There we go. I'm not really sure how much this is going to make. Um, I need some sort of little pant. No, what are you doing? Why do you look like some sort of dad? No. <laughs> what are you doing? With the little glass of wine and taking a little bit off. <laughs> are you drunk? Have you had too many assholes? It was so full, I had to take it off. For <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> oh my goodness. Crazy, crazy family. 125 grams. It's gonna take me ages, isn't it? Get a spoon. Hundred and twenty-five grams of light sugar. Hundred and 
There we go. Two to three tablespoons of golden syrup, depending on how gooey you want them. How gooey do you want them, Zach? Uh, not too gooey. Not too gooey. So. What the hell? Don't you just love butter and sugar? Did you ever used to like eat that when you were younger? Oh, just me then. Huh? Like butter, like when you're baking, butter and sugar is literally so nice mixed together. It smells so good. All right, that's probably melted enough. I'll just pop you back on here. So now I'm just gonna add the oats. Take this off the heat, add the oats. And still a bit of sugar in there. So I'm just mixing those together. Sorry, my memory card ran out of space, so I've had to just delete a few things. But uh, I'm just mixing that all together. So that's the butter, the sugar, the um, oats mixed together. So then I'm going to pop the um, golden syrup in. So I'm going to do about two tablespoons at first. Yum, look at that. Oh, God, I almost spilled it. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop three tablespoons of that in. This is one. Golden syrup's actually the messiest stuff ever, isn't it? So runny and sticky. Mmm, it smells so good. Let's just do another one. Another one for luck, hey? Another spoon. Hello? No? Where does maple syrup come from? Oh yeah, <laughs> just gonna give that a bit of a mix. I just put in two tablespoons of um, golden syrup and it's sort of this consistency. I think I might put a little bit more in because it's still a little bit, I don't know, the oats are still sort of falling apart from each other. So I think I might just put a little bit more in. To be fair, it was a little bit less than um, two tablespoons, I think. So I've just put another like half tablespoon in, so I'm just mixing that all together. I don't know why you would need a food processor for this, actually all you need to do is this. <laughs> I am Mary Berry and today I'm going to be making um, lovely flapjacks and Zach really likes to get close to... Sorry I've got a really bad cameraman at the moment, he's an apprenticeship. He's an apprentice, so just give him a chance. The sort of consistency we've got at the moment, come and film the food Zachy Poos. That's the sort of consistent. Do you want a bit more gooey than that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think so too. So maybe let's put another like sort of half in. Look at this. Golden syrup. Oh. Let's just pop that in. <laughs> just using another spoon to get it off. Are you filming dino? Our viewers are probably fed up of seeing dino. I dare you to eat that golden syrup. Is it nice? It's alright, yeah, it's just sugar really. Yeah. yeah. Don't know why I act as if that was some sort of like really yeah, scary a bush duck. Tucker trial. Yeah. I dare you to eat this golden <laughs> syrup. Are you being steady with that camera, Zaki? Yeah. <laughs> How about that then? Any more? So it's been like 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna check um the flapjacks are in the oven, so I'm just gonna take them out and hopefully they'll be done and we can leave them on the side so they can harden. Have a look. Oh, yum, they look so good. Mm -mm -mm, bubbling away. Can you stop barking? I'm trying to film some sort of like aesthetically pleasing video of my flapjacks. Hey, naughty. Okay, so you can probably just see me in the reflection, but this is the workout I'm going to do. Samantha Kuzak. Kozak. I don't know how to say. Um, basically, basically, she uses like the sofa to kind of do a workout. So that is what I'm gonna do.
Wow. <laughs> Hi guys, so you are in the middle of a lit ring light right now because I'm doing my boyfriend's hair and he's chosen to stay anonymous. <laughs> um, I did it the other day, but I didn't film it just because, um, I don't know, I don't think we had enough time. Um, and he had really long hair on top and it was actually, it was quite grown out on the sides. So today, basically what I did is I tried to do a bit of a fade on the sides um, and then we did number three on the top, but he decided he wants it shorter. So um, I'm going to do my number two on the, is it two? Or two? Uh, two and a half on the top and then does this need trimming down a bit? Or? Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, because Zach's hair grows at a very fast rate. Wow, it looks so bright right now. Let's just turn this down a sec. Yeah, Zach's hair grows at a really fast rate, so he would actually go to the... If he could afford it, he would go and get his hair cut every week because it grows so quickly. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that now. I just thought I'd film it because I thought it would be good for the vlog. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Stands up more instead of going flat down. Oh. So it looks as though. It's <laughs> like a bloody, um, what's it called? A ball pad? Yeah. Yeah, like when you, when you go like this on my hair here, it goes fairly flat, but then it, 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 if you go like that, you can feel that it's like standing up on end. Mm. That's just the way that my hair grows. Yeah. I know you feel like you want me. And I guess in a way you do Hold my breath, I'm reveling emotions I need some space to think this through Call me on now with you I would rather lie 
sorry guys my camera cut off for some reason it just keeps doing that so i think it cuts off at half an hour so it must have been half an hour um but i just thought i would show you the final product i just wish i could blend that line in more how do barbers do that so annoying anyway yeah um look at the mess now so, so the next job on the list is to tidy my room so i think zach's gonna jump in the shower now because he's got all hair on his neck and then i'm gonna tidy my room and he's a hoover and i might just pop you somewhere so that i don't know i always feel like it's quite aesthetically pleasing when i'm watching people tidy so i'll just fasten up and then hopefully it'll be nice and tidy Right, so this is making brownies take two because I don't know if Charlotte's put the footage in, but I tried to make them yesterday and I had eaten all the eggs, so we'll try again. And hopefully I've got all the ingredients this time. So let's get them out. Unsalted butter. We've got milk, white and dark chocolate. I mean, half the milk and the white chocolate was eaten by me because it's been in the cupboard for ages and I just couldn't resist, so but never mind. Flour, cocoa powder, three large eggs, Um, and pasta sugar, which is in here. So, let's get started. I need to set this up somewhere that I can actually see it. And that you can actually see what I'm doing. That might be helpful. Okay, yeah, that's a bit better, I think. Right, so, 185 grams of butter. Right, I basically need to melt the butter and the dark chocolate. over some hot water in a pan, but I don't really know what bowl I'm gonna do that in. Put it in a bowl like that, and then just put it over the pan. I don't know if that'll work, but that's what we're gonna do. So, I'm basically gonna, cause I think on the butter, it's got like lines of 50 grams, so I don't have any scales, so I'm just gonna have to work it out other ways. So we need most of the butter though, so we need like that big bit. So and then it says to cut the butter off into cubes. Right, so there's actually a tiny bit of butter left. I might leave that out so we might need that to kind of be No, it's fine, I don't need to do that yet. The kettle's probably really loud, so I'm just gonna stop talking for a minute. I've got the butter in the bowl. And I think it's dark chocolate as well. It's not quite got enough dark chocolate as well. So it was obviously it was Easter Monday today, so I'm still going to do Easter ones. I've got some more mini eggs. I think I said in the last clip that I ate the ones that we were going to make because I was annoyed about how we did on the eggs. <laughs> I ate the other bag. Yeah, that's good. So that's all good. Now I'm going to put the water. into the pan and then just sit by. So yeah, it's basically just sat on here and I've got hot water in the pan. 
Right, so sitting, I'm not touching the water yet. So basically, you've got to wait for those two to mix. paper so it doesn't get stuck so the butter and the chocolate is melting nicely I'm just going to leave that I think I might just put it yeah I might just do, put it in there like that I'm just put I don't know that will do I think right mixing bowl These gonna be really good, Ellis. You are. I hope you're excited. Yeah. All right. Don't sound too excited. Calm down. Look, honestly, calm down. <laughs> this is a spoon that my brother made me. So, sorry, Alex, if you're watching, I'm trying to break it. That's that done. I now need to do three eggs and the sugar into a bowl. So it was 22, wasn't it? Oh, I need a spoon. 22 tablespoons of caster sugar. So it's going to take a while. Right, it's 22. Lovely. So I've got that in the bowl. And now I'm going to break the eggs into there as well. And then, to, well, it says with an electric mixer, but I do not have that. So this one will have to do. Pull over. This one will have to do. So it needs to look like a milkshake, apparently. It's getting technical now, Ellis. Why? It's just, I don't know, it's just a bit out of my expertise, to be honest. Huh? Thank you. Your support means a lot. I know. <laughs> I'm now breaking the eggs. Oh, I'm just going to break. Breaking the eggs into the bowl with the sugar. And then I'll whisk them together. I mean, if an, it says an electric mix would take three to eight minutes, how on earth long is this going to take me if I haven't got an electric mixer? God. Now I'm just going to whisk I've only been doing it for like two minutes. I think it's looking alright. I don't really. Just really don't want this to go wrong. Just really want to nice down if I'm honest. Right, I think that'll do. And then. Pour the cool chocolate over the eggy mousse and gently fold together with a spatula. Okay, I don't have a spatula, so that spoon's gonna have to do. I've baked before, obviously, but I've never made brownies, and like these are like proper brownies. Like, I feel like I've made easy ones, these aren't easy. It's a lot of work. Pour the chocolate and the butter into the eggs and fold it together apparently. And then hold it in like that. Right, this can go in the sink. Oh great, it's got egg everywhere. Honest. Just got to sift this in and then 
put the chocolate chunks in them in the oven so we're nearly there so just sieve this back through again and then we've just got to fold it in again it's very I don't know, not sure at the moment. Hopefully it comes together. I mean, I've done everything right. So the only thing I didn't have is electric whisk. So I don't see how we could go that wrong. I feel like brownies though are the nicest on the day you make them, aren't they? So you kind of need to eat them all in one day, which I'm sure me and Ellis will be able to do. Won't we, Ellis? Yeah. Do you hear what I said? No. Won't we be able to eat them all in one day? Give it a go, yeah. I was just saying, they always taste the best on the first day, don't they? Oh, yeah, it's still a bit warm. Yeah. Now it looks like that. So I think, I'm gonna make sure I've got all the, like mixed it right to the bottom. I haven't got any. And then I need to add in the chocolate chunks and then put it in the um, dish thing. So, oops, just drop the packet in there. So, he's got to stir the chocolate chunks in. Wow, some of these chunks are quite big. Never mind. Obviously hitting it with the spoon didn't work very well. And now I've just got to put it in the dish and then in the oven and hopefully they will look lovely when they come out. Looks good. And then I'm just going to put the mini egg. I'm just going to put the couple thing. Right, I would say that looks pretty good. Look at that mini eggs on the top. Just should probably show you that way, shouldn't I? There you go. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven, I think it's 25 minutes, and I'll let you know when I've taken them out and what they look like. So while the brownies are cooking, I'm just gonna give Lola her Kong, which is like this blue, I don't really know what it is, thing with some peanut butter in. She literally goes mental for it. What's this? What's this literally spins? What's this? Are you gonna sit? Good girl, there you go. And then she'll probably spend like 20 minutes eating that. Just on our daily walk through the woods. Lola's having a great time. I think she's just rolled in something though, so we'll probably have to give her a bath when we get back. But yeah, it's a bit colder today than it has been. It's actually quite nice because it was really, wasn't it? When we were walking the other day, I was actually sweating. Yeah. So it's a bit nice that it's a bit cooler. But yeah, there's a horse field over there as well. Very nice little walk. Still sunny. And Lola's having a great time. So a little update on the brownies. We just finished our walk and I just had to leave them to cool. So they've gone quite well, haven't they? Mm -hmm. But possibly some of them, particularly this one, is gooier than it maybe should be, as in like raw. But, you know, put it in a bowl with some cream and I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, they do look really good with some like mini eggs on top we have tried some and bits on the edge are perfect but just like this one which was in the middle still a bit gooey but they're in for the time that it said i just don't understand but yeah i'm pretty pleased with them hello guys so i've just got out of the shower stop looking at me i'm feeling embarrassed don't look at me when i'm doing this all right i'm feeling very nice and tanned nice and glowy like i've been to saint -Tropez, but it might have something to do with the warm lights that are shining on me right now. Um, so, 
Obviously I've just washed my hair. I am going to be trying the TikTok trend, which is like heatless curls using a dressing gown belt. So yeah, I'm gonna attempt it and I will get back to you in the morning and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. Every time I put my hair in like braids of a, like of a night time and I wake up and I take them out, they just look awful. Like maybe my hair's just not suited to heatless styling. So I don't know, let's give it a go. Let's take this out. So I did pop some, this is just like a wet brush. So um, it's really good. Usually, obviously, if you have seen our first ever video, I had extensions in. Um, this is really good for extensions. I just got it from Sally's. Um, but I still use it on my hair. So I'm just gonna brush my hair. I did use some silver shampoo. I use the Fenola purple. No, is it no yellow? Or no orange? I think it's a no yellow purple shampoo, really good. Um, and then I use some L'Oreal, the Salon one. I don't know, one that I got from Sally's as well. It's like the proper hairdressing one, not the drugstore one. Fenola shampoo, really good. Purple shampoo, it's really good for getting like yellow and orangey tones out of your hair and making them sort of whitey silver. Um, Cause I'm naturally brunette. So my blonde does go a little bit like orangey sometimes or a bit yellowy if I don't put purple shampoo on it. So apparently this trick is best to do when your hair's like damp. I'd say my hair's like damp, it's sort of like dried at the ends a little bit. I've just had in this towel for ages, so I've sort of towel dried it. So apparently the first thing you do is you just part it into two sections like you would if you were braiding your hair. Braiding. And then just put this over your head like so. Maybe like here. I don't like some sort of like, like a nun or something. Um, and then I'm just gonna tie this section. Whoa, this is a really long belt. Tie this section away. And then what I'm going to do is you basically just have to grab the like front section here and you just have to wrap it around like so. And then apparently you just grab a bit underneath. It's kind of like a French braid. Then you just grab a bit underneath and then wrap that round and then you just sort of carry on doing that until you've used all your hair up. I don't know how what sections of I don't know what the width of sections of hair you're supposed to use but we'll give it a go. And then just keep adding. So me and Zach were just watching, um, what's it called? Ozark, I think it's called. I don't know if you pronounce it like that. I think they were pronouncing it different on the program. Um, but yeah, it's really good. We've only watched one episode, but it's good so far. We're enjoying it, so I'd recommend that. Obviously, you know, we've been watching Tiger King, which is also good. A bit weird, but it's still good. I don't know if this is like, it's gonna work. Is that gonna stay there? I'm not sure. I feel like it's just gonna unravel. Hmm. Then apparently you have to secure it with an elastic. This is a bit loose, this elastic. I feel like this is just gonna all unravel on me right now. I think it needs to be a little bit more secure. I need another hair braid, should I use this one for now? hairband not hair braid oh god oh god it's all going wrong it's all going wrong let me just put that back over here i'm just going to use another hairband that hopefully is a little bit more secure i know that i'll wake up and this will all unravel i just i can see it happening now to be honest i should probably use like little elastics I feel like they'll be a bit better won't they i just don't know how these bits at the bottom are going to stay Oh, I don't know. Maybe it needs to be like secured with like a bobby pin or something. I want it to be like that. I've got an itchy eye. But I know that when I let go, it'll just do that. I don't know. Hmm. 
Maybe if I do this. Oh yeah, I did see actually someone do this on TikTok. Then it'd stay secure, wouldn't it? But I don't really know what I'm gonna use to secure it with. Um, I need a clip of some kind. I found a scrunchie I might use. Oh, there we go. I look absolutely ridiculous. Who's that character out of Star Wars? One that you look like. Yeah. Princess Leia, is it? So I do have another clip. I have like a little... I have a sectioning clip or I have a hairband. What should I try first? I could use both to be fair. I could use the hairband. And then I could clip the hairband into my hair like that. I think I've done it. I think I've done it. I look absolutely ridiculous, but I'm pretty sure I've done it. Wow. So we're going to watch some more Ozark and I'll get back to you in the morning. Hopefully I'll have lovely curled hair that I haven't had to use a curler with and I can just do this from now on until I get my extensions back. Right, see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Let me, I feel like you really zoomed in. I need some lip balm. My lips are really dry. I've got some. Otherwise, I feel like my lips are like this and I can't talk because they were so dry. But they're fine now. So, as you can see, the scrunchie fell out overnight. <laughs> so, they kind of like dropped. I knew it would anyway. So, um, they're a little bit damp still. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to hair dry them. I'm going to blow dry them a little bit. Hang on. The wires are all a bit tangled. I don't want you falling over. I had a dream last night that I was in an airport going on holiday. It was really sad. And I was really sad when I woke up because I thought I was on holiday, but I'm actually not. Because I don't know about you, but whenever I'm on holiday, I always have dreams that I'm at home and I'm like in uni or like when I used to be in like high school, I used to have dreams that I was back in school and I'd wake up and it'd be like, I was, in, I was on holiday, but like, oh, thank God for that. But it was like the other way around. Like, I had a dream that I was on holiday and then I woke up and I was at home and I was like, oh, and it's still locked down. Oh, well. Let's hope, guys, this ends soon. So let's all stay in so that we can have a really good summer. Um, so yeah, everyone stay in because I want to go on holiday this year. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to hair dry this and stop talking. that's more or less dry I just didn't want it to be wet or, or like damp and then it's like you know when it comes out oh I don't know it's just yeah I'd rather it be like bone dry but I'm gonna take it out just really tight onto the thing oh I mean they're a bit a bit of a weird curl. Mm. Not sure I'm keen on those types of curls. See, this is my hair. This is what it does. I don't know if I put too much conditioner in. But it goes a bit frizzy. Let me put some... Let me put... I've got this... With hairs all over it. I've got this... Weller flowing form that my friend Chelsea kindly got me. She's a hairdresser, so she knows all like the best things to get. Um, and it basically just smooths your hair out. So I'm just gonna run some of that through. Smooths any frizziness. I'm just, I don't know why that, oh, I don't know. Right, I know I don't like it. My hair's gonna go up in a bun all day. Maybe if I, High away like the bits that <laughs> look at me. If I tie that half up, 
I think I'm definitely going to stick to um, curling my hair normally. Yeah, that's just not worked, has it? I mean, it's alright for sort of staying at home. That looks quite pretty. Oh, that's not too bad. I don't know. I look like a bit of a frizz ball, to be honest. Anyway, I'm going to make brownies today. Should I bring you with me? I was going to end the vlog here, but I just thought maybe... I just... I mean, Izzy's making brownies, so I thought... I wouldn't add my brownies because then that would be double brownie time. But who doesn't love brownies? So maybe I should vlog my brownies too. Because I found a really good recipe. Like for, although I haven't got basically, you know those um, flapjacks I made the other day? Yeah, um, they got stuck to the um, pan or whatever, the dish that I put them in, and mum had to throw the dish away. Whoopsies. So I'm going to try and find an actual like pan to put the brownies in because. I feel like brownies don't stick. They only stuck because they had golden syrup in it. So brownies won't stick. So I think I'll I'll bring you with me to make some brownies because who doesn't love a brownie? Okay, so I'm gonna go have some breakfast and then I'll talk to you when I'm making brownies. How many times do I have to say brownie? I'm now tidying what I've been talking about for however long. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do it. Um, it's my desk and my makeup kit and it'll probably be quite quite satisfying to watch because it is literally horrendous let me just show you it's really bad oh we dropped you drawer's bad this needs to be sorted out and yeah it's just really not great so i'm basically going to sort out what i want to keep in my kits i think i mentioned i can't remember if this was in this vlog or the other video um that i think i have more than what i need in my kit so I want to just condense it down basically because obviously I have to carry it to like clients, houses, weddings, things like that. And it's just crazy to have so much stuff that I don't use. It's really heavy. Um, and there's just no point. So I'm at the moment just sorting out brushes. These all need to be cleaned. So I'm just going to leave these all in a pile. Um, and I'm just sorting out at the moment what I used in the makeup video the other day that needs to go back in my kit and what is actually my personal makeup, if that makes sense, because I did use a few bits from my kit. I wanted to try, so... Yeah, I'm not that excited. And I'm going to try and set the camera up so you can actually see what I'm doing, because at the moment, obviously, you can't. So I'm just trying to get everything on the floor. And then I'm going to set you up and I'm going to sit on the floor so I can go through basically my kit. So yeah, I'll see you in a second. So this is the current situation. Um, it's a complete mess. I basically keep it in this big, like, I don't know, it's kind of like a suitcase kind of thing in these like clear um, like makeup cosmetic bag things. Um... So I can obviously see what's in which one, but I really just need to go through all this. And I only want I want to like sharpen all pencils, um, go through what I don't want in here. There's just obviously stuff everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and condense it down a bit, make it really nice and clean and tidy. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm struggling to find somewhere to set you up, so hopefully I can find somewhere that you can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> I know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do All of my breath, all reveling emotions I need some space to think this through Call me on now Even 
Hello, is that coronavirus? Yeah. Um, can you just get lost? I've got myself a banana. Mmm. And I'm gonna make brownies in a minute. But I need to find myself Pam. We're not bakers in this house at all, so we don't really have any baking tins for like brownies and cupcakes and all that really nice stuff. So I kind of have to improvise whenever I bake, cause like, cause we just never bake. I'm gonna find a tin and then I'll go back to you. Hi guys, so um, we are back from Tesco's. I mean, we got back ages ago, but anyway. Um, they didn't have a, uh, what are they called? They didn't have like a rectangular baking tin for brownies, so I just got a circle one. So they're gonna have to be circle brownies, but who cares what shape they are, they'll still taste the same, won't they, hopefully. Um, so I got that and some parchment paper. And hopefully I'm gonna make some really tasty brownies. There's mum in the background. <laughs> you can only see like a little hand. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just gonna vlog me making these brownies because I'm hoping they're gonna be really nice. They look like on the recipe, it looks really tasty, so. Okay, so I've got all the ingredients here. I've got 220 grams of butter, 220 grams of sugar, 220 grams of um, dark chocolate, and 70 grams of self-raising flour. I need two eggs, I think, and just some water. Okay guys, so I moved you because so that you can see. So I've just put three eggs, the sugar in one bowl, and then I've got, um, oh, you can see through this bowl. There's water, uh, not water, butter and chocolate in this bowl. So we've got two separate bowls. What I'm gonna do is, I've definitely put them in the wrong bowls. Is this heat proof? I'm gonna put this in a in a pan and basically melt the um, chocolate and the butter together. So I've just got that in there and I'm just gonna let that melt with the butter. Add a tiny bit of water as well um, and hopefully that'll be really, really nice so that I can put that in my brownie mixture. Okay, so that's all melted now. So the next step is to add that to our sugar and our eggs. So I'm gonna do that now. Mmm, how good does that look? So apparently the trick is that you need to use dark chocolate. Because apparently that's what's going to give it the really, really chocolatey taste. If you just have milk chocolate, um, it's not going to taste like super chocolatey like brownies do. Okay, so the flour is mixed in with the chocolate, the sugar and the eggs. Was there anything else? I can't remember. Um, and I've just lined the tray with parchment paper. So I'm just gonna pop that in the tray with the parchment paper. So the brownie mixture is all in the pan, ready to go in the oven. So I'm just gonna pop it in the oven. I can't remember how long it has to be in there. I reckon probably about 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna pop it in the preheated oven and then I'll let you know when it's done. Okay guys, the brownies are out of the oven now. Please excuse the little knife marks. It's just me checking that they're not raw in the middle anymore. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna let them cool for about 30 minutes and then I will cut into them. So today is another day. I actually forgot to film the part where my makeup kit was all tidy and then I remembered and it was like dark and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait until today. So it's now all sorted. Please excuse my appearance. I haven't done anything yet to myself. So. But yeah, my makeup kit is all tidy and it looks really good and organized. So I'm now gonna show you. So I've got palettes in this one, foundation, face products, eyes, um, lips, lashes, concealer, primers. And then this one has got, um, it's like cotton buds and brush cleaner and stuff like that so yeah hopefully there is now nothing in there that i don't use and i'm not carrying around for the sake of it so i also need to obviously clean all my makeup brushes for my kit as well because they're not in there at the moment wow my hair is so greasy <laughs> um and that'll probably be in next week's vlog because um i've got a lot of brushes to clean so that'll give me something to do in next week's vlog okay guys i'm really impressed with myself because these brownies look insane insane like literally i've i have made brownies in the past and they've always been horrendous like they've been all right but they haven't tasted much and i don't know they just haven't been that nice but 
Are you ready? Are you ready for the brownie goodness? Ready? Oh my goodness me. Like what the hell? And they are super thick as well, like look. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to eat these, but I'm gonna wait till after my dinner, but oh, I'm so impressed with myself, like what? So, um, I think that brings us to the end of the vlog. I'm gonna stand somewhere where you can actually see me. Yeah, so I think that brings us to the end of the vlog. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe to our channel. Um, if you want to see more of our videos, we upload every Monday and every Thursday at 6pm. So we've got two videos a week. Um, please like this video, please comment below anything you would like to see from us in the future or any sort of other quarantine ideas that you want from us. And I guess we'll just see you in our next video. Bye!